Up next on Lion TV, we have Connor Love with a story about how our basketball team are working together to be the best team that they can be. We have Josh DeGroat with our Lion of the Week and Ashley with some helpful weather updates for the coming up week. And me, Lexi Farron, telling you all about tonight's game. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Good morning, Cersei High. I'm Paige Reynolds. And I'm Charity Sanders. Looks like it's time for those announcements. Our own Cersei High School Marching Lion Band plays second division during the region contest Tuesday night. While they may have been hoping for first division, we are super proud of our band and we are looking forward to seeing how they do at state competition. Makeup pictures will be taken today. All students in 9th through 12th grade and staff members will have the opportunity to take or retake their school pictures. FCA will be hosting the annual Fields of Faith on Wednesday, October 27th at Lions Stadium. This night of community-wide student-led worship will begin with a tailgate party with free food at 5. This service will begin at 6 and will conclude at 7.30. All students are invited to participate in this event. Next week is Ribbon Week. Monday is Nike Day. Quit vaping, just do it. Students will wear Nike a tier. Tuesday's Jer Jersey Day, team up against drugs. Students will wear their favorite jersey their, of their team. Wednesday is Neon Pink Day. Our future is bright without drugs. Students will wear neon colors to school. Thursday is Camouflage Day. Don't hide your pride. Be drug free. Students will wear camo to school. Friday is Spirit Day. Cersei High School is drug free. Seniors will wear black. Juniors will wear red. Freshmen and sophomores will wear white. We encourage everyone to support the cause and dress up. Last week, a college fair was held in SHS cafeteria. Juniors and seniors will meet with representatives from various schools for information about colleges, scholarships, and more. There were both many booths set up with information, booklets, and even free t-shirts and pins. The college fair was a great place for the upperclassmen to consider their options while moving forward in life and planning what they want to do after graduation. Governor Asa Hutchinson delayed plans to recall legislators to take up tax cuts due to continued deliberation with lawmakers over how much the tax cuts should be. House Speaker Matthew Shepard said, quote, While I think that there is a proposal coming together on tax reduction, that will have broad-based support. I think there's still just some details to finalize and preparations to be made as we move into a special session. Jacob Eli Knight Vaskin went to get a drink across the street from a tavern where he'd worked in the northwest Portland. The 34-year-old 34, 34 has been at the pizza bar only a short time when the sh uh, shots rang out. Vasquez was stuck by a stray bullet and died at the scene. His killing is, in late September was one of the 67 homicides this year in Portland, which has super, surpassed its previous full year record of the 66 in 1987. And Portland's police department is struggling to keep up amid an acute staffing shortage and budget cuts. Russia is struggling through a particularly alarming phase of the coronavirus pandemic. With only about a third of Russia's 146 million people vaccinated against COVID-19, the country has hovered near a thousand reported deaths per day for weeks and surpassed it on Saturday. It seems the basketball team has been working extra hard for this upcoming season. Yes, and Connor Love has more information about the team. The Cersei Lions basketball team's season is about to begin, and they are practicing hard for the season. But how is the team doing? Let's take an in-depth look at what the Lions are doing to prepare for the season. Even though the Lions are pretty competitive with each other, the players have a brotherhood on and off the court. They're my brothers. They're more than teammates. They're brothers to me. So that's how I do it. Never, never going to have anything off the court. We always leave it on the court. Season we haven't played a lot together, 
so far we've been playing against each other a lot, but I'm excited to see what we can do whenever we all get on the same team. The players have learned and improved their game through the great coaching of Coach Harris. He's an amazing, fantastic, awesome coach. I feel like we got a good relationship on the court and off the court. I think that's a big deal. So yeah, I think he's a pretty good coach. In their opinion, the senior players have grown to the best players that they can possibly be. I grew up being a Lion, so I think I have grown and molded into the player that coaching them have wanted me to be. My family, every one of my family's played. Uh, I've just always had a love for the sport, all, all aspects of the game. I went from barely dunking the ball, now I can do basically anything. Wow. It seems that the Cersei Lions b-ball team are raring to go for this season. Back to the news desk. The basketball team is sure to do well this year. Indeed. Say, how's the weather? Let's ask Ashley Coker. Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Ashley Coker to bring you your weather updates. So today, you're going to have a high of 74. It's going to be sunny with the rain at 5% chance. The winds are headed south at 4 miles per hour. The humidity is at 60% and your sun rose at 719 a.m. On to tonight. So tonight, you're going to have a low of 52, clear skies. The rain is at 43% chance. The winds are headed south-southeast at 2 miles per hour. The humidity is at 88% and your sun will set at 623 p.m. On to the almanac. So the last seven days temperatures was a high of 86 and a low of 42. The monthly average of precipitation was 4.70 inches and the month to date is 3.56. On to the five cast. So Saturday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 80. Sunday, it's going to be stormy with a high of 81 and a low of 63. Monday, it's going to be stormy again with a low of 55. Tuesday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 62 with an 11% chance of rain. And Wednesday, it's still going to be storming with a high of 72 and a low of 52. <sighs> Looks like we're going to have storms in our forecast. Darn. Back to the news desk. Looks pretty cloudy, but it sure is nice to have highs in the 80s. For sure. What's for lunch, Paige? For lunch, we have mini corn dog, mandarin orange chicken, Asian style brown rice, dinner roll, green salad, baby carrots, tropical fruit mix, banana, and milk variety. Make sure to thank our awesome lunch ladies for all their hard work they put in every day. It's Friday. You know what that means. Josh the Groat has a new line of the week. Awesome. Take it away, Josh. Happy Friday, Cersei. I'm Josh DeGroat back with this week's Line of the Week. Sophomore volleyball player, Madison Grawl. Madison, what position do you play and what are your responsibilities? My position is outside hitter and middle back. Um, my responsibilities on the team is to um, be a leader and help encourage those around me. And why is volleyball important to you? Um, volleyball is important to me because uh, just being able to see my teammates every day makes my life much more positive. How do you feel about your sophomore season coming to an end? Um, it's really sad watching all the seniors leave because I had to, we really made a connection this season and watching them leave is sad. What were some of your personal goals this year? Um, some of my personal goals this year was to be a positive influence on my teammates and become a better player overall. And speaking of goals, what were some goals the Cersei High Volleyball team set for this year? And do you think they've been accomplished? Um, some of our goals this year was to just improve as the season has moved on. And I think that we have improved throughout the season. And as you make your transition into your junior season, what do you hope to accomplish? Um, I hope to be a good influence on the younger girls that are moving up. And I hope that we can be even better next year. I hope so too. Well, that's all I have for you this week, Lines. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Josh, for that great interview with Madison. Charity, I'm ready for some sports talk. Me too, Paige. Let's give it over to Lexi Farron with all our sports updates. Happy Friday, Cersei High. I hope you guys are ready for your sports updates, because I sure am. In local sports, the Cersei Lions football team is playing the Jernsboro Hurricane today. Cersei has a record of 4-3 going into this game, 
with them winning their last game event against Pine Bluff, while the Hurricane are 5-2 with them winning their last game in a blowout against West Memphis. The game will be live streamed on our YouTube channel, Cersei High Lion TV. In national news, the NBA started their season this Tuesday with some big games already happening, including the defending champs, Milwaukee Bucks, beating the Mets 127 to 104, and the Golden State Warriors beating the Lakers 121 to 114. In the NFL, rumors have been spreading that there could be a three-way trade before the Houston Texans, the Miami Dolphins, and the Washington football team. In the trade, the Texans will be sending the Dolphins star quarterback, Deshaun Watson, while the Dolphins send their former first round pick of Tua Tagovailoa to Washington. While nothing is official yet, many news outlets say to expect the trade to go down within the next week. In the MLB, ALCS is the closest series we've had so far this postseason, with the Astros having the lead in it 3-2 against the Red Sox. Boston is looking to win tonight at Houston to keep their playoff hopes alive and to make the World Series. Well, Cersei, that's all the sports updates I have for you today. I hope everyone has a safe and fun Friday night. Now back to Paige and Charity at the news desk. Thanks, Lexi. Yes, thank you. Well, it seems it's time to conclude the show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cersei Highline TV. And if you get a chance, check out Dalen Banks' article about what's next after high school. Absolutely, and follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and on Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. That's all for now. I'm Paige Reynolds. And I'm Charity Sanders. See you next time.